Sulfonylureas are a class of oral hypoglycemic agents used in the management of type 2 diabetes mellitus. They work primarily by stimulating insulin secretion from the pancreatic beta cells, leading to a reduction in blood glucose levels. In this video, we will talk about some clinical pearls regarding sulfonylureas. So, let's get started. Pearl number one hypoglycemia risk. Sulfonylureas can cause hypoglycemia, particularly in elderly patients, and in those with renal impairment, or when they combine with other glucose-lowering medications. So, patients should be counseled on recognizing and managing hypoglycemia. Pearl number two, weight gain. Sulfonylureas are associated with weight gain, which may be a concern in some patients, particularly those with obesity or metabolic syndrome. Also patients with glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase enzyme deficiency can be at increased risk of hemolytic anemia with sulfonylureas. Pearl number 3. Long-term efficacy. The effectiveness of sulfonylureas may wane over time due to beta cell exhaustion. So, it is necessary to add or switch to other anti-diabetic agents. Glimepiride and gliburide are not preferred in elderly patients based on the Beers criteria due to risk of hypoglycemia. Pearl number four, renal function consideration. In patients with renal impairment, glipizide is often preferred due to its minimal renal excretion. Gliburide should be avoided or used with caution due to the higher risk of prolonged hypoglycemia. Pearl number five, administration timing. For drugs like glipizide, taking them 30 minutes before meals can enhance postprandial glucose control while others like glimepiride can be taken with breakfast or with the first main meal. Insulin in combination with sulfonylureas increase the risk of hypoglycemia and should be avoided. In summary, sulfonylureas are potent insulin secretagogues used in the treatment of type 2 diabetes mellitus. Their efficacy, risk of hypoglycemia, potential for weight gain, and drug interactions should be carefully considered when initiating therapy especially in patients with comorbidities or those taking multiple medications. Proper patient education and monitoring are essential to optimize outcomes and minimize risks associated with sulfonylurea therapy. So, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Leave your thoughts or questions in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.